In 2018 and 2019, I was lucky enough to be able to announce for the very first time to you and the internet and the entire world a bunch of Nintendo Switch eShop games getting physical releases. And that was thanks to the amazing team at Super Rare Games for not only allowing me to release that information, but also being the ones to give the games physical releases in the first place. And if you don't know who Super Rare Games are, they're a company that reach out to these smaller indie developers who can't afford to make a physical release of their game and they cover the cost for them and they pump out the physicals in a limited quantity. It's about getting these games into the hands of just some, just at least some people who appreciate and love and want to own these games past a digital copy. So yeah, you do kind of have to be quick at grabbing these things once they go live because there's not many of them floating around out there, but in my opinion, it's better than nothing. I have all of Super Rare's releases so far, and a lot of these, most of these, I got to announce in those before-mentioned videos. It's really cool and surreal for me to stand here holding Switch games I announced on my channel. That's, that's just cool <laughs> for me. I don't know about you. But anyway, I can't wait to add another seven games that I am announcing right now today to this collection. Anyway, with all that said, how about we just get on and I start announcing these games. I'm really excited. If you're excited or just, you know, do it anyway, please like this video. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna start with the one that I'm personally most excited for, but everyone is different. Uh, Dendara is getting a physical release. Dendara is a beautiful 2D Metroidvania in which you don't run or jump, rather you zip between walls and ceilings, blasting at enemies and giant thumping beating hearts. I mean, good for her. I throw up on the teacup ride at Disneyland. I don't know if I could handle all that. Dendara released on Switch back within the first year of the system's launch, and it remained on the eShop as a little hidden gem since then. I reviewed it way back when it released, and that mechanic of bouncing around the levels is such exhilarating fun, it's drawn me back into the game time and time again. For as fast, effortless, and precise as the gameplay is though, Dendara is still a tough ride from start to finish. You'll have to learn to constantly be on the move, dodging and weaving through enemy attacks while strategically landing, attacking and charging up a more powerful shot. Early on, just a few stray shots hitting you will result in a game over screen. Thankfully, you can upgrade your health or weapon energy, but these are just small improvements that won't be enough to help you alone, and it ultimately comes down to practice and skill. This game nails its gorgeous pixel art style and exceeds in its hauntingly ambient soundtrack. And for anyone that's already played the game, you'll be excited to know it has up coming DLC that will be included in this physical release. Trials of Fear. And this DLC not only includes new content for the first time, but it actually enhances the gameplay of the base game, making this the best version of Dandara yet. Honestly, Dandara is one of those games I always wished I could add physically into my collection, so this is a really cool one for Super Rare to do, and I'm excited. The next game that Super Rare is giving a release to is Sexy Brutal. I actually have haven't reviewed this one yet, so let's do it for the first time right now. Sexy Brutal is like the movie Groundhog Day with Bill Murray. If Groundhog Day was a murder mystery set in a wonderful Luigi's Mansion style mansion. You are stuck in a never-ending loop where all the other guests keep getting killed in ridiculous, brutal, and sometimes hilarious ways. As you explore the mansion and witness everybody dying, the day will loop over and over, and you'll begin to learn how you can interact with the environment and affect the course of events. All the the marvelously different parts of the mansion have varied themes and atmospheres, again reminding me of Luigi's Mansion in this way. And in my opinion, I feel like the art style animations are that same level of wonderful quality that Nintendo provides in games like Luigi's Mansion. As you explore each new area, investigating and learning exactly what you can interact with, you begin the trial and error process of figuring out exactly what steps need to be taken to prevent each murder. Just like Bill Murray in Groundhog Day, except he was trying to date that one chick and not prevent a bunch of people from dying. With every life you save, you gain new abilities that will help you unlock new areas of the mansion or interact with new things. And that allows the game to constantly feel fresh as you play. If all of this doesn't sound engaging enough as it is, the humorous dialogue between characters and upbeat jazzy soundtrack should help you remain invested throughout your entire seven hour adventure. Number three is Assault Android Cactus Plus. 
Ah, oh, it's one heck of a name. <laughs> Assault Android Cactus Plus is a twin stick shoot em up you can either play solo or with three other friends in local co op. You got a bunch of different game modes here too a story mode, campaign, a top 50 layer mode, infinity drive, daily challenges, and a boss rush mode. Also, you can throw in nine playable androids to choose from, each with different primary and secondary weapon combos, and 25 stages which morph and transform as the levels progress. That's a whole lot of bang for your buck if you have ask me, you could barely get through it all without taking a breath. It's just fun blasting away at hordes of bad guys, stringing together a chain multiplier in a very fast and frantic game that never slows down for a moment. But what I enjoyed most about Assault Android Cactus Plus isn't its ridiculous name, but its tight, responsive controls. It's an absolute blast to play, pun definitely intended. Oh, I'm hilarious. <laughs> Game number four is Mech Extermination Force. Before Super Rare Games asked me if I wanted to make this video, I hadn't even heard of Mech Extermination Force. So I looked it up and found overwhelmingly positive reviews with so many people calling it the best 2D boss rush game on Switch. And at first I thought, <laughs> well, Cuphead might like to have a word with you. But then I played it and uh, just for the pure fun level design, I might have to agree. Fight after fight, you take on ridiculously giant robot bosses, with each one having some new, insane way of taking it down. Many of these fights felt to me like a 2D Shadow of the Colossus game, having to make your way up and sometimes inside these Godzilla-like mechs. Finding the boss's weak points are key, you can't just spray at them and hope for the best. Sometimes you even need to make your way to a certain part of the boss and get up close and personal with its weak spot to deal some Massive damage! That's, That's a, a lot, lot of, of damage. damage! You're even able to bring a friend and play co-op, which really packs on the Contra vibes. This is a game with no fluff and no filler. In Mech Termination Force, it's just brilliantly designed action-packed boss fights, and apparently, this game is a Nintendo Switch exclusive, developed by the same guy who made the Gunman Clive games. So now, it makes a lot more sense why this game is so freaking fun and well designed. I'm not only excited to get Mech Extermination Force physically in my collection, I'm also excited to see what this guy does next. Okay, I hope you're ready for this next one because this video is about to take a huge shift in tone. The fifth game is Darkwood. Picture me last year, Halloween, dressed as Cat in the Hat for some reason, reviewing a bunch of spooky games. And one of those games was Darkwood. In this game, there's a virus taking over the world, and it's your task to try and escape both it and its infected inhabitants. The first thing that stands out to me is the way your flashlight bounces off the environment, especially so when it shines through the trees, casting a bright light that becomes your only field of view. Meaning, even though this game is top down, See what I do? You still can't see everything around you unless it's in your field of view. This is brilliant because it somewhat brings you back into that first person perspective, not knowing what's around every corner or even right behind you. You are actually able to arm yourself in Darkwood, either with the items you find around the world or the things you craft for yourself. I'm not able to craft things because I'm a cat and apparently cats only have three fingers. I'm not sure if one's even an opposable thumb. Oh yeah, it is. What this game does best is its atmosphere. From the before mentioned visuals and lighting to its music and sound effects. It creates an eerie and extremely tense ambiance throughout the entire game that constantly keeps you on the edge of your seat. Not only was that video really fun to make, and I'll leave a link to it around here somewhere, but reviewing Darkwood in the video was a highlight for me. I was really excited when I found the game back when I made that video, and I'm also really excited to find out right now with all of you <laughs> that it's getting a physical release on Switch. Can I just take this second to say that uh, if you don't know, Super Rare Games is a relatively new company. They started doing these physical releases back when I started announcing them, so like a year or two ago. But this list? Every one, like, as I was, I was like, oh, oh. Every game on this list is really fun. I, I'm excited to see where their library goes even after this, but I, I'm excited for all of these. The next Super Rare Games physical release is Freedom Finger. Freedom Finger is a music-driven shoot-em-up game where you use your finger ship to punch and shoot your way through enemies. Or if you prefer, just reach out and grab your enemies and then straight up use them as a shield or a weapon. <laughs> if you can show me a more unique and crazy shoot 'em up game, then I'll... I don't know, play it, I guess? But for me, Freedom Fingers music is the real highlight. 
featuring 30 kick-ass tracks on its non-stop rock soundtrack that pumps and thrashes throughout every level. The developers really gave it their all here, making a ridiculous over-the-top shooter, and it's one of those games you can just sit down and play on one of those days that you just don't give a f Next game, please. So Super Rare Games already gave SteamWorld Quest a physical release last year, and now they're taking SteamWorld Heist slapping it on a cartridge and throwing a little label on there and allowing you to buy it in limited quantities, of course. The SteamWorld series are a favorite to many on the Switch, and each game in the SteamWorld series plays completely differently, with Heist being a tactical turn-based strategy action-adventure game, and possibly my favorite of all the SteamWorld games. You play as robot space cowboys who deal in water for currency and bullets for words. Unlike other tactical turn-based games, in this one, once you select your move, you still have to aim and shoot at the right moment, even being able to aim at ceilings or walls to ricochet your bullets towards the bad guys, which can be super rewarding when you hit your mark. Oh, and of course, loot. So much loot. You find and earn loot as you play, upgrading your own weapons and abilities to shake up the gameplay even further. And this is the ultimate version of SteamWorld Heist as well, including all of the DLC. So with this release, SteamWorld fans are one step closer to having all of the SteamWorld games physical in their collection. I know my SteamWorld Dig 2 and before mentioned SteamWorld Quest we're getting kind of lonely. Well, not not really, they don't have feelings. But wait, I'm not done technically kind of, well I am, but there is one more game kind of, not really. There is one game that I, I didn't get to announce because I was just a little too late. World of Goo actually released today. Or maybe yesterday, depending on when I get this video out, but the fact is, it's out already and you can go and buy it right now and start adding these limited run games into your collection. But what is World of Goo, you might be asking? What reason do I possibly have to buy World of Goo? Well, let me tell you. World of Goo is a long beloved game of many, releasing way back on the Wii in 2008. It's a physics-based puzzler where you use small balls of goo to create bridges and structures to help your goo balls reach a goal point. The challenge here is to use as few goo balls as possible. This adorable game is beloved for a reason, winning many independent game awards back in 2008 and becoming an example of how commercially successful indie titles could be. So now is your chance to own this little slice of indie gem history physically on the Switch. There's no denying that ever since the Switch launched, I accidentally fell in love with indie games. I didn't used to ever play them, they weren't really for me. I was very much a triple-A guy. Give me that new Assassin's Creed and I was happy. But the more that I played them, the more I reviewed them, and the more that they accidentally became a staple of my channel, the more I fell in love with them. I love not only discovering a new indie game, but adding some of the ones that I already fell in love with into my collection. So I have Super Red Games to thank for not only helping with that, but for allowing me to make these announcement videos. Again, it is honestly really cool for me, so thanks. And this is not a sponsored video either, by the way. I just like doing this. It's fun for me. So if you liked it, again, please, hit that like button. There are links down below to Super Rare Games. You can check out the games they already have and obviously get excited for the ones I talked about today. Until then, hit a lip on that subscribe button. I got burp, I got gas. I'm all gassy. Hold on, give me a second. Oh, oh. Speaking of limited, this video has limited seconds left, but if you click on one of these videos, oh, they have endless seconds remaining. Just, oh, uh. bye.